All right, hello everyone, my name's Martin. The purpose of this video is to simply show how to cre create a very simple iPhone app. Uh, this will be effectively the hello world of iPhone apps. The introduction just to get you familiar with the development environment and the language. So let me start the environment up. It's called Xcode. This is what it looks like. Now what you'll have to do um, when you, before you do this, you need to be first of all on a Mac Pro, Mac Air, iMac, something that supports Xcode and you will need an operating system that is the Mac OS High Sierra 10.11 or greater. So on here I have uh, 10.13. 10 this, this version of Xcode, the latest version is 9.4.1 and it includes a programming language called Swift, uh, Swift 4.1. Now all applications, and by the way if you don't have those you can go to the App Store and download them. All applications are created in a project. So the first thing we need to do is create a project. We'll click on there. And we're going to choose a single view app. And we'll name it uh, Hello App. Um, everything else you can leave the same. You know, I'm Martin Geary, obviously. Uh, if you put, put com.martin or com, whatever your name is, as the organization identifier, that works. And we press next and create. Uh, over here you'll see of interest a bunch of files, but of particular interest is the viewcontroller.swift and the main storyboard.swift. So let's start with the main storyboard. And if we go and press this little set of rings here, that'll bring up the code. And we'll press this thing here and it'll make the storyboard easier to use. Basically, we're going to add code in here eventually. So I'm going to put a little comment here. And push these things down. These these other two things are initialization initialization pro project uh, programs that uh, run when the uh, when the environment starts up when your application starts up. Um, but first, before we worry about code, we want to draw up the shape of the thing that we're going to do. So basically, in this program, you're going to enter your name, press a button, and it'll say hello your name. So let's first of all we want a label because I'm going to put a title in here. Uh, so this is just there to give me a title. There you go. Um, so instead of label, I'm going to say, Hello World. And we'll put it in the middle. Um, and we will make it bold. Um, you can choose all sorts of fonts if you go in here. If you choose custom, you can get all the regular fonts that you're used to. Um, but we'll just leave it like that for now. Then I need an input field, input text field. So I want a text, and I want a text field in particular. We'll drag this over here, make it the whole width, and we'll leave that all the all the defaults, 14 point font, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I need another text field to be the input. And under placeholder text, I want to say some instructions. Enter your name. That's called placeholder text. And you can see it faintly in the background. Then I'm going to want a button to make things happen. And we'll put this over here. the button. Change the text color to black just because it looks nicer. And uh, why don't we make it bold as well. Instead of regular, it's going to be bold. All right, there you go. One more thing just for cosmetics. I'm going to click on the background here. It's called the view. And I'm going to change the background color. Uh, let me just show you this other button. Other. Up come the crayons. 
and I'm going to choose this grey right here. Okay, just so, that, so we can see things. Same with the button. Let's change the background of the button. And I think I like this one best. And there we go. Right, so that's what it's going to look like. Now we want to make it do something, and we have to register a few things and add some actions. So you select, we're going to take them one at a time. We select the what's going to be the output label, the output text field. You select it, hold down control, and drag it into the code and let go. And it's going to be called output. Connect, and there it is. Put my one below it. This is going to be called the input. Select, control, drag, name, input, connect. And of course we want the button. Select, control, drag. This time it's not an outlet, it's an action. And it's going to be called enter. Connect. Let's just change the instead of button, let's just actually say enter. Right. What that means is that whatever act whenever that button is pressed, the logic in this function that was just created will be um, implemented. Triggered, that's the word I was looking for. And so what we want to do is say that the output dot text, these things on the on the drawing here are called objects, and objects have parameters that are like structures in a sense, and they're separated by dots. So this is the text field of the output object, and we want it to equal hello, comma, space, plus input dot text and I don't know I don't think I need the parentheses but just to make make the code look there's something wrong here I misspell output um, output dot text equals hello plus input dot text and the exclamation point is to say that's the end of the text no more concatenation and that's it. Now we can build it. You go up to this triangle here. This will build it and start the simulator. And we'll just put this down so you can see the simulator looks like an iPhone. Which is good because that's what you're building. <laughs> um, let's start up. Simulator is a little slow. Now uh, here we are. It says enter your name. So I will. Hello, Martin. Now, suppose and Mary came along and wanted to do the same thing. Hello, Mary. And that's it. You're all done. Your first app. Think about that. From now on, uh, so basically the purpose of this was to show you the environment and very, very few bits of what they call the Swift programming language. It's very similar to C in a lot of ways, and it's also different. But what, from now on, uh, it's really up to your imagination and how, well, how much studying of Xcode and Swift you do to create more and more complex systems. Xcode does come with a built-in database, which is a MySQL type database if you want to get st when, you, when you do start getting more complicated. And if you want shared databases, then you need to set up a website and, and, and use it as a database server. But that's where we are. Uh, that's, that's all we're going to talk about today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that got you started in uh, in your future as an iPhone developer. Thanks very much.